Hello everyone, I am Rohit and in this video I am going to talk about that how to enable multilingual knowledge base with the help of document 360. In our past video, I have discussed about that how we can create the knowledge base with the help of document 360 but in this day, we will talk about that how we can enable multiple language in that knowledge base. So if you remember that, with the help of document 360, this is the website we have generated and if you click the documentation sections, and this is the knowledge base which have several knowledge article at that moment we have only one knowledge article but we can create several knowledge article category from this admin panel and that can be visible here for the end user the problem here is that if your knowledge reader who is going to read this knowledge article are based from the different different region and they want to see the knowledge article in their native language so there is no option to select language in this knowledge base so in this video we are going to talk about that how we can enable that option so that user can select their preferred language so that this whole website knowledge base and knowledge article can automatically translate it based on their preferred language so let's see how we can enable these things in our knowledge base to do this setup first you have to go to this admin panel and from the admin panel, the bottom you can see there is the options called settings. So we have to click these settings options. Once you click this settings option, you are going to land to this general tab. So this is the general settings tabs where you have landed. Now from here, you have to click this localization and workspace options. So if you click this localization and workspace option, you can see that by default, this is v1 main workspace public and then the language is english so you can see that when the knowledge base created by default it is created with the english languages we need to enable or we need to add one more language here if you see the right side here it's saying that one of two workspace slash one of two language used so for trial purpose you can only use or you can only add two language here so I'll click this add new language options and you can see there is a one pop-up open and I can select any second language. So once I select this second language, that knowledge base will have a options to select that second language as well as the first language based on user preferences. So let's say that in this case, I'm going to enable for the Thai language. So I'll select the Thai language here and then click add. Once you click add, you can see in the top, it is showing that added language. It means that the second language is added. Now, if I refresh this tab, you can see that we have two language right now. One is the English, another is the Thai language. And if you see here, it's showing that two of two language used. It means that in free trial, document 360 give me that two options or two language to select. And I have selected two of them. The first or the default language is the English and second language is the Thai. Let's go back to the end user portal and if we refresh that, you will be able to see there is the options to select that language English and option to select the Thai language. So let's select the Thai language. So once we select this Thai language, you can see that there are some changes automatically happen. Like there are some text here. There was some text here and some text here. These are automatically translated. How these things automatically translated, right? We have not defined anything, but how these things are automatically translated. So if you go back to this admin panel and then click this localization variable, under this localization variable, you will be able to see two languages. One is the English, which is default language, and another is the Thai language. Under this Thai language, you can see that for each English text, there are automatically document 360 create some Thai text. If I minimize that, under this article header, there are the options called updated on, minute to reads, minutes to reads. So you can see these things are automatically based on English, what should be the Thai language that is standard text are provided here. And that is how it is showing here all this translated. Now you can see this knowledge article or content is unavailable in Thai language because this knowledge article also needs to be translated and that has to be done manually. I'll open this Google and here this is the translated text for this text. So I'll copy this 
text here and go back to this admin panel and first I'll go to this uh, documentation section click this knowledge article and you can see in the top we have an option called English I'll select Thai and then I'll paste this text here then click this publish option and then publish that so it means that the for Thai language this is the knowledge article and for English language this is the text will be shown now if I go back to this end user portal and then refresh our portal and select this Thai language you will be able to see that the text are automatically translated or the knowledge article are automatically translated based on the user selection so if you select the English this will be shown as the English if you select this Thai this knowledge article will be shown as a Thai language so that's why you can create the multi-language knowledge base and multi-language KB article